Hi, Chef Jim Hunt here from Fiddler's Restaurant in Steenhatchee, Florida. And I'm Jill Hunt. We have some spectacular stone crab claws for this week's Grilling and Chilling. I'm Grilling. And I'm Chilling. Cool weather marks a special time in Steenhatchee. It's stone crab season. But before we can enjoy these tasty treats, we've got to crack the code on cracking the claw. Now some folks think that these are hard to get into, but actually all you need is a butter knife. Start with the inside of the crab claw up. Take your butter knife, the handle of your butter knife, and just pop it. And maybe a second time. There you can see, and you can see how much. You want to be very gentle in pulling this out. And look, there is that succulent piece of meat from the stone crab claw. Certainly enjoy these just like they are. But we have a nice little sauce of traditional lemon butter sauce that you can put together. And I add my extra little twist, and I add a little bit of garlic to it. I've got some melted butter. I did about three sticks of butter. I've squeezed some lemon juice. Here we go, a little bit of lemon juice. And look right here, here's some fresh garlic we ground up. And I like a little bit of garlic in there. And then we'll whisk it up. This is as simple as it gets right here. Hey Dad, I really like that lemon butter sauce, but I really love the Fiddler's famous mustard sauce. Let me show you how to do it. To put this sauce together, you're going to need Coleman's dry mustard, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, heavy whipping cream, and what really sets it off to make it special, a little A1, freshly squeezed lime juice, and two cups of mayonnaise. Now you can get the complete recipe on the Nuts and Bolts website. We're going to take the two cups of mayonnaise and combine all the ingredients in the bowl. Here's our mayonnaise. Now you're going to combine this with a whisk until it's nice and creamy. You know, you want to mix this until it looks kind of like cake batter. You just want to get all the lumps out. Doesn't that look great? Now you have the Fiddler's Famous Mustard Sauce. This is one of my favorite recipes. I hope you enjoy it as well. See you again on the next Grillin' and Chillin'.